gonna be too loud. I missed you guys so daggum much. Do you know how much I've missed you? Felt like part of my body was missing. Like you guys are like my right arm. Is this my, yeah, my right arm. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for not giving up on me and for coming back. I really appreciate it. I have felt very, very well today. No issues to report. So that is good. And I had a really, really promising doctor's appointment today. So first and foremost, I need to apologize for my little incident the week before last where I almost fainted on screen. Not, not particularly professional, but also not particularly out of my character to make a fool out of myself. That's kind of become my brand. So, you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what can I do about it now? I can't do much about it now. It happened, but we're here now. That's all that matters. How was your, gosh, how long has it been? Two weeks? How have you been? It's been two weeks. How are my friends? Let's start with Miss Garcia. Thank you, Miss Garcia. And thank you for coming back. Redheaded kitty cat, thank you so much for being here. Colleen, I've missed you. Crescent Moon, I'm back. I didn't, well, I did leave, but I, I did it, but I did, but I'm back. <laughs> Sharon Olson, I am feeling better. Thank you so very much. I got about eight vials of blood drawn today to try to figure out what the heck is going on. And I got, I, the doctor I saw today, she was so nice. It was just, it was my first time seeing a female doctor and I'm never going back. Uh, no offense, gentlemen, doctors who are watching. I'm sure there's a ton of you. Um, no offense, but female doctors is where it's at. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Dawn, hello. Thank God it's with a ring card. Wait, TGI. Yeah, thank God it's, right? Do you guys remember TGIF? Thank God it's Friday. I don't even remember what TV channel that was on, but that was my jam growing up. I love that. TGIF, Dusty Moose, Dr. Dusty. Thank you for being here, Dusty. Jackie Larkin, yay, Tuesday's fingers crossed you brought some weirdos. I mean, maybe, I mean, always. <laughs> Always Renee. Hello. Thank you for being here. Sajiro too. Hello, dear. Debbie and Teddy. Hello. Hello. Doreen. You ready to shop? Ready to shop? I hope I brought some stuff you guys will like. A lot of new things. Well, every week is full of new things because that's how, that's how it works. So new to me things, new to all of us things. That's what I meant to say. They did show and tell. Hello. Hello, Heather. I don't know why I did this. Hello, Heather. Hello. Laza. Oh, don't be worried. I was just being dramatic. You know, you know. Margaret Latina, but that's sweet, Laza. Thank you so very much. Happy Tuesday, Margaret, and happy Tuesday, Barbara. Lisa Jens, how are you, dear? Purdy Pansies is here. So many of my friends. Mary Dugan's here. Hi, Mary. Hi, Amy. Did I miss you, Amy? Did you say? I did miss you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Milo's mom. Hi, Milo. Your email was very sweet. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mary Dugan. Hello. Hello. Robin Watson. I know. I'm never going back to a male doctor. I just, I just won't, I just won't do it. I refuse. Dawn Domain, how are you, Miss Dawn Domain? Trendolin, hi, Trendolin. And Miss Williams, thank you so much. Sorry, I had to take a sippy sippy break. Thank you, Susan. 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 
Well, you and me need to have a talk, Susan. You're in trouble. I will tell you, I got the thing, but I have not opened the thing because I'm overwhelmed by your kindness. So like, <laughs> I'm just taking a minute, um, but you're in trouble, but you are so incredibly kind. Um, I'm, I don't even know what to say, Susan. You're, 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 cr you're crazy kind. Thank you so very much. Karen L. Hello. Hello, Janice. Mine heart. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know, Susan. It's just, it's, I can't, I can't, I can't, Susan. And Aunt Karen, if you're watching, hello. And Aunt Sherry, if you're watching, hello. And Mom, if you're watching, hello. Happy Tuesday, friends. If you're new here, Welcome to the Withering Cottage family. My name is Ariana. I sell vintage and antiques here on the, the interwebs. Sometimes, if I have time, when I'm not being a full-time mom, I also film and upload shop-alongs. Every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, I have a sale and I sell things that I love. I tend to really only sell things that are my aesthetic and my aesthetic. How would you guys describe my aesthetic? Cause I don't, I don't know how. I sell things that are different and withering and fun. I don't know. I don't know how to describe my style, but if you haven't participate, if you haven't, participated before it's super easy to join in if you see something that you're interested in all you have to do is put in your offer you know, like like Susan Deslitz right there will say like I like that for 10 and then Phyllis right there will say well no I like that for 12 Susan and so on and so forth until the beautiful red-headed kitty cat puts in her bid end in the highest offer before that bid end gets it yeah uh, I use pirate ship for shipping and PayPal for invoicing. If you don't have a PayPal, that's okay. You can always check out as a guest. I'll send you the link through your email and you can pay with any debit or credit card. Super easy. And then I use PayPal, like I said, for shipping because that will get you the most affordable rates possible. We don't use just in cases on this channel. There's nothing wrong with just in cases. I actually think they're really fun. Um, but we just don't do it here. I do ship from the Bodunks, y'all. Thank you so much, Redheaded Kitty Cat. And shipping is not included in the cost of your item. It just depends on where you live and pretty much how big and heavy your box is. I don't charge any additional handling fees or packaging fees. I only charge you exactly to the penny what it costs for me to send you your withering treasure. Let's see. My aesthetic your aesthetic is my aesthetic. That is very true, Dusty. Wonderfully weird, unique, the withering best. That's so sweet. Victorian Gothic. Gothic. I can't talk tonight, but that's not new. That is not new. But first thing on the agenda is Redheaded Kitty Cat's moderator gift. It's getting harder and harder to shop for you, Redheaded Kitty Cat. I need to have a Zoom meeting with you and figure out your style because I'm really just grasping at straws at this point. But I thought this was really pretty and unique. Um, this is a Dragonware luster um, teacup and saucer, and but it's a souvenir piece of Florida. It's in really good condition. So here's a little saucer and then here is the cup. It's in really nice condition. I love the colors. It is three-dimensional. And then it's got a lithophane on the bottom. I'll try to show you. That says Florida. Do you see it? Can you see it? I just thought that was fun. So this is your little moderator gift tonight. Thank you so very much for always helping us out on Tuesday nights. You're so incredibly kind. So thank you so very much. That will be sent to you. Thank you, thank you, redheaded kitty cat. Songsmith, thank you. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disappoint you with my sickness. <laughs> also, I have a couple of different things that I'm doing tonight. One, hi mom, is instead of having like one or two bigger giveaways, everybody that purchases tonight is going to get a one of a kind, I'm assuming, I'm, there may be duplicates out there, um, Victorian photograph, cabinet card and or photograph. So every purchaser tonight, so if you buy two things, you get two photos, three things, you get three photos, so on and so forth. But I'm just going to show you kind of a sampling. This one's really cool. It's like a bunch of people, like probably from the early 1900s in front of a farmhouse. And this one's really big. Got this couple of dapper dudes. These lovely ladies. This is a very interesting one. And this one's really cool. I mean, there's a whole stack here. Um, so I'm I'm not gonna like pick which one you get when you purchase. It's just gonna be kind of a surprise in your package. But yeah, for every purchase you make, you're going to get a Victorian photograph. And some of them even come in their like decorative little do majiggies. Oh, she's cool. <gasps> Look, she's knitting. I haven't even looked through these thoroughly. I like this one. The side profile is everything. Oh, wow. Look at this bridge. Ooh, this one's really cool. So, you're going to get... A Victorian cabinet card. I just don't know which ones. Oh, look at this one. She's on a bike. And look at, sorry, I really love these. Look at him. I just want to hang out with him and like shoot marbles and stuff and chew tobacco. I don't know, mom. It just, it was just in here. This one's cool. This one, they may be a, a funeral. I don't know. But, oh, I like this one. I like them all. That one's really cool. So, like I said, just to preface, for every purchase you make, you get a Victorian card. Photo. Photo card. Card photo. And the other different thing I'm doing is I am doing a add-on. If you purchase, you can have an, opportun an opportunity. Like, I need another word. If you make a purchase, I have 15 of these. So um, the first 15 purchases, if everybody wants an add-on, there won't be any left. Um, but they're gonna be $2 each uh, if you purchase and you wanna add them onto your order. So these are a really fun little simple craft. It's just a matter of finding the supplies and putting them together. So each one of these is gonna be a $2 add-on and it's a very simple little thing, um, but I had a lot of fun making these and I use them in my own home. It's just a vintage clothespin with a double-sided nail on the back and I'll put a packing peanut on there if you want one so it doesn't stab you. But these are great to just stick in your wall or on a cabinet or anywhere you would put a nail item. And then you can take something like your Victorian ephemera and it goes right onto the wall with the double sided nail. So then you can just put this on your wall and switch out your ephemera a lot easier than a picture frame. So I have 15 of these add ons if there is any interest. And I made a handy dandy board. So you could see. <laughs> sorry I'll deck out in jewelry next week just for you I promise I promise I promise but are you guys ready I'm I'm a little nervous I haven't done this in so long I have everything numbered on the piece of paper in front of me these are my numbers I don't like to pick, I don't know how other resellers do it I don't like to pick the order I sell things in I like the universe to decide for me and again, no giveaway tonight because every purchase is getting a giveaway. 
Yes. Alrighty then. So my first item is a twofer. And they're going to start at $8 for the pair. And if you like reading, these are for you. So I actually got these at the same estate sale. So I'm assuming they belong to the same person. So they are both. One of them, I don't know how old it is. One of them is definitely older. And they are a pair of bookmarks. So the first bookmark is this leather hand painted and I think um, hot pokered, so pyography. They would use a hot poker to add in the details. So this one says souvenir of New York and then it says wisdom is better than rubies. And it is on this really fine piece of leather. Souvenir of New York. And it's got this lovely lady on it. And then it says Wyndham. Wyndham. <laughs> Wisdom is better than rubies. And it is about nine inches in height. So just a really sweet, older little souvenir piece. And then this is the one that I don't know how old it is, but it is also leather, but then it's also hand embroidered in like a little pocket. And it just says one day at a time, one day at a time. And it's got a leather cord with a, I don't know what kind of stone this is, but it is a, a stone, maybe Jasper. Does that look like Jasper? And this one is three inches tall. So if you have a lot of old books on your display, these are really pretty to just kind of have set laying, sitting laying beside them. Just sweet little bookmarks. And I did I say if these started at something? They're starting at $8 for the pair. Eight dollars for the pair. I didn't see the start, so I wasn't sure if I said it. <laughs> Sorry, red-headed kitty cat. Start at eight dollars. But I love her, and the fact that she's hand done is just really cool. But I see Robin in at eight and Donna in at ten. Thank you so very much. We are gonna start the countdown on these. So 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Bid end. I loved this estate sale. The estate sale I got these at is the one that I got there four hours before it started and waited in line for four hours. So that was intense. But I got bookmarks. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. And these are going to, hi Catherine, how are you? I need to call you. I need to check and see how things are doing in your life, love. Robin Watson for 26. Thank you so much, Robin. I really appreciate you. The stone is carnelian. Thank you, Donna. Carnelian. It's carnelian. Thank you so very much. And Miss Watson. I've never done an add-on before. And I feel silly even offering these, but but like I think they're so cool. But I wouldn't just sell one, you know what I mean? I wouldn't sell them by themselves. So Robin Watson, would you like to add on a <laughs> clothespin with a double-sided nail in it? It's very intriguing. It's, it's, you don't want to miss out. <laughs> I know, Songsmith, I was. I was very proud of myself. So just let me know, Robin, if you would like this fancy invention. Oh, you're welcome. And if you missed it, they're $2 add-on. So I've got you, Robin. One off the board. I love them. I think that um, they're very practical. And there's no giveaway because you're getting a Victorian calling card. Everybody gets, they're not calling cards. It's gonna be a long night for me. 
Oh, this is also from that estate sale that I waited in line for for four hours. So this little grouping here is going to start off at $14. And I forget who it was, but someone said, let's hope she brings the weirdos. And here they are for you. We have got this. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't believe I do this for a living. Sell babies and trophies, but I do. Oh, thank you, Robin. You're so sweet. So I have a probably from the 1920s little um, electroplated trophy loving cup. Here's the markings on the bottom. And it's so sweet. I love the double handed little silver plate trophies. They are amazing in displays. Most of the time I just put a little um, greenery ball on the top, but this time I stuffed it with babies. So you're getting the trophy and you're getting all the babies. And I'm gonna go in order from my least favorite child to my most favorite child. I know this day you're not supposed to have favorite children, but I do. This is baby number one. He was my firstborn. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I feel like as time went on, I got better. He was made in Hong Kong. I was out of town, long story. But this is my first child. My second child is the product of me and a bodybuilder and things got real weird, but uh, he was also while I was on vacation in Hong Kong and this is him. We call him Timmy. He's feisty. You don't wanna pick a fight with him, okay? He will take you out. Then my third child was made in Germany. That time he came to me and uh, we had this baby and his name is Ronaldo. Is that a German name? Probably not, but there he is. And then are you ready? I had my twins and then I was done. After I had my twins, I was like, I got it perfect. I'm done, no more children for me. Look at them. These are my twins. And they are in a teeny tiny vintage ring box and the my twins were hard for me to get rid of because I'm emotionally attached to my twins. We have this one. Now this one is plastic, like a hard plastic, celluloid possibly, but not the kind that like dents easily. And twin number one is about an inch and a quarter tall. So that's my first, my first twin. And then this one is my favorite. This is probably the oldest in the bunch. This is a little cast iron frozen charlotte so she is metal james the third i get around you know i just have so many babies but this is a cast iron little frozen charlotte which is so cool hi tina and she is an inch one inch tall so you're getting three, four, five babies and a trophy. Oh, earrings. Earrings, that's a good call. And then here's the inside of the little trophy. It does, uh, like, no, it doesn't have any um, monogramming on it or inscription. It's just, it's blank. You can inscribe whatever you want on it. So you get the cup and the five children. There you go. And we are going to start the countdown. I know I should have made earrings at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Ronaldo, you go to the back. Or no. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid and aren't they tiny? teeny tiny babies but the cup is beautiful too honestly probably didn't need to put the babies in a cup but we live and we learn we live and we learn oh oh i can't look margaret latina congratulations thank you so much margaret Latina for 25 and thank you guys for your offers and Margaret you're gonna get one of the 
Victorian photographs. I just, I just don't know which one yet, but one of these is coming to you. And Margaret, would you like to add on a, a clothespin? <laughs> I feel so funny asking that. Would you like to add on a clothespin? You can say no. My feelings will not be hurt. Sure, she says. Why not? You're getting a clothespin. Maybe this one. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. This is fun. I've missed you guys. I like being with people that like the same things as me. Or at least pretend to like the same things as me. Either way, I love you all. <sighs> all right. This next item is from my personnel collection. And it's always sad to see one of my treasures go to a new home but it's also very exciting so this next little pairing you're getting two items and they're going to start at twenty dollars for the pair so starting at twenty dollars for the pair we have that was very dramatic let me do it again the how and why wonder book of she comes next time wearing some think of all the ones missing parts that need your magic Okay, baby earrings it is. The How and Why Wonder Book of Butterflies and Moths for educational purposes. I love these. Oh my gosh, it tells you how to kill the moths and butterflies? I might have to rip that page out of here. I do not condone that behavior. But this is a very cool book. Do you want to see it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at this page. Picture these framed. They would be lovely. They would be lovely. Oh, that's my favorite one right there. The Luna. Mm, gorgeous. Lynn, you don't even know what the other item is. Hello, Lynn. I've missed you. My fellow Georgia Peach. Lynn, why haven't we gotten together before? That's what I don't understand. If you live in Georgia and I live in Georgia, it just makes sense. Look at that caterpillar but anyways this is a very cool book um i love the colors and not all the pages are colored some are just black and white but i love these look at that tobacco sphinx laying eggs on a package of cigarettes don't leave your cigarettes out folks we'll have Tobacco Sphinx laying eggs on them. Very fascinating. But anyways, this is the first item. And the second item, which you would think, oh, I do. It's a Stitch Hop Holonium. Sure. You're getting this huge taxidermied. I'm going to go with I love calling myself out. I'm going to say this is a moth. Could be a butterfly, but just based off of the colors, I'm going to say moth, but again, could be wrong. It is a this. It is a that. And it is in a glass um, specimen tray. Now, it does have a hook on the back to hang it, but it needs to be the lid needs to be either taped or glued to this in order to hang it you wouldn't want to just hang it right away because it's not secured um but it's beautiful and it's a huge specimen it's five by four and a half so really large here it is next to my head it's sizely and then here's an up close beautiful condition and then here it is next to the book it's coming with. So I see Lynn in at 60. Thank you so much, Lynn. We are going to start the countdown. You're getting both, and you're going to get a Victorian photograph. So picture that in there, too. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Fit end. 
Google Lens says it's a butterfly. Very well could be. Although I do like these pieces, unfortunately I don't know all the species. That would be very cool if I had a photographic memory. I can't even remember what it's called, let alone have one. You know? You know? Lynn, you got it, dear. Thank you so much. And Lynn, I, I, I just have to ask, would you like to add on a uh, clothespin? Just let me know. No pressure. No pressure. Hi, Val. They're surprisingly hard to put double-sided um, nails through. I got you, Lynn. Thank you so much. I want to make sure I put these off to the side so I don't lose count of how many I have left. Lynn, that took no time at all. Do we really want to do it this early? I feel like it's too early. We don't have the, the dramatic buildup. Lynn, do you want to play? Hi, Vintage Rose. Thank you so much. I do feel better. I had a really good health week. So I feel like, like I had such a good health week, I gained 10 pounds in one week. Because I cannot put on weight. So I'm just really happy. <laughs> Lynn, what can I do you for? So if you guys are new, this is the part of the evening where I pull number 30. Well, what's number 30, you ask? That's where we pick the withering cord. So the previous purchaser, before I pull number 30 or 29, gets to tell me what kind of item they want me to go scour my withering cord for and come back and offer to the friends. Sometimes it's, well, no, every time it's interesting. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. Depends on how nice Lynn's gonna be to me. We'll see what Lynn has to say. That's okay, Vintage Rose. You're here now. That's all that matters. What you got for me, Lynn? Are you gonna be nice? Taxidermy or cupy? What do you want me to do? Sell you my taxidermied otter that I have right there? I can't sell you my taxidermied otter. Have I ever sold like taxidermy? on my channel other than my duck head dolls and insects? I don't think so. Or an art, or Artie, Artie's in the house, Lynn. I'm keeping Artie. Taxidermy or QB? Normally I would, that's too specific. I would say move along, ma'am, but I'm gonna see what I can come up with. And I fear you may be disappointed because I don't sell a lot of my taxidermy, so I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. So because of that, that was kind of a quick, that was kind of a quick pick. That was kind of a quick pull. Because I'm not ready to part with any of my taxidermy, which process of elimination means starting at $14, a pair of koopies. Very different time periods, different makers, but if you collect koopies, you might want them both, so they're coming together. This one here, all this goose needs is a little blue bow around his neck. This one is Jesco, 1991. And he is holding a little bowl of seed, of seed feed. And there's a little goose right there. And he is marked O'Neill right there on the back of his right foot. And he's in perfect condition. And look at his little wings, his little butt. Adorable. So that is the first one. And he is approximately four inches tall. And no scuffs or anything. He is bisque. Very good condition. You're lucky I had cupies. And then the second one is not marked O'Neill, but this is Shackman. So that he's a little older. 
made in Japan. And this one is so cute. He's got little articulated arms and a rosy belly button, the classic QP eyes and hair, the blue wings, and then he does have his original Shackman made in Japan sticker on his back. And look, they blushed his little bottom. And I also like the shading that they did on the back of the hands. I think that's a nice detail. He kind of, this QP is kind of like mermaidy to me. Like a mermaid cupie without the tail, you know, like walks on land. I don't know why I'm getting mermaid vibes, but I am. And he is bigger. Five inches. Five inches. Four inches. And he is much paler than this one. But they're adorable. And if you collect cupies, you might like them both. Maybe. Oh, look, he's stealing the, the bird feed. start the countdown on them at 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 bid end what I kind of like this one more because this one looks more like cute and I like the like not so cute one but I don't know if that's how you feel. That's just how I feel. Don't fall. Stay sturdy, my friends. <gasps> Lynn Comble. You got it, dear. Thank you so very much. Lynn Comble. And you already got a clothespin. You're welcome to get another one, but you probably don't want another one. So I'm not... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Number 10. Oh, these are cute. These are really cute. These are gonna start at $12. And I don't know anything about them. I did not look them up, but I really like them. Um, I don't know where the goose went. I don't know, I don't know where my goose went. I have a pair of metal pot metal possibly owl salt and pepper shakers these are fantastic they're really good quality and they're definitely a set this one has five holes and this one has four they are about three inches in height and what's cool about these is that since they're metal you could split them up in your house and they're just like little figurines i also picture them with like if you have fake glass little glass eyes you know we all just have glass eyes laying around i do do you i didn't put them on here but there is a pair of these that are more antique that have the glass eyes on top and they look just amazing yes great for halloween too they're just kind of timeless and they both have their original stoppers on the bottom. They are plastic. They're in good condition. They're not cracking or anything like that. Um, and they have fantastic detailing on them. I love anything figural. Look at all the details of their feathers. I know some people like the kitschier salt and pepper shakers, but these really float my boat. I love anything figural. And they're just so stoic, are they not? And then they have their little, their little talons. Their little talons. And they're pretty heavy. They're solid, solid metal of some sort. Of some sort. And they're a hoot. Is that too easy? Is that too, that was a too easy one. Anyways, we are going to start the countdown on them. I don't see any offers yet, but if you throw in a 12 before Redheaded Kitty Cat's bid end, you get them for the starting price. So, 15, hi Lisa, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I like them. Do chickens have large talons? I don't know. 
I think so, yes. Don't they? Chickens? Chickens? I believe so. Tell Napoleon that I believe so. Lisa, you got them. Thank you so very much, Lisa. And Lisa, would you like to add on a very rare one-of-a-kind clothespin? Thank you, Tammy. I am too. I really am. That was stressful. For stress. That doesn't mean I won't feel ill again. I have good weeks and bad weeks. So, fingers crossed. I continue to have a good week. You've got it, Lisa. Thank you so much. Number 18. Alrighty then. We're going. Now you guys know. I'm pretty much a stickler in my sales with true vintage and antique items. However, no, but I do have two tonight, Tippy. I do have two. However, these have stolen my heart, and I go back once a week to see what they've restocked, but I'm kind of picky. I have, I like to for them to have a certain look to them. So, um, I, I only have two, but this is one of them. So... I have one of the 3D printed lizard and he is amazing. So he's going to start at 25 and these are 3D printed little fidget creatures and I love them. I have a dragon. He's right there. I have one lizard and one dragon tonight. He is in this beautiful orange, purple, blue, green color um, shift. His name is Button. This is Button the Lizard, and he's adorable. He has got blue eyes, and all that color shifting you're seeing. Oh, I should have named, no, I changed it. I can change his name because he's mine. His name is Napoleon. <laughs> and they are so detailed, and they are really fun just to have on your coffee table or on your end table. Or um, I, the lady at the antique mall, she had her sitting on her lampshade, kind of just peering off the lampshade because they do kind of sit off of shelves too. They're fun on a windowsill or you can, they're pretty sturdy. So if you have grandchildren, um, they can definitely play with them, but just the colors is what got me in the eyes and their little faces. They're so realistic. And he does have little jointed arms in the little feet. I know. His full name is Napoleon Button. That's his full name, Napoleon Button. And he is pretty big. He's 10 inches tall, 10 inches tall. <laughs> I love them. I see Pam in at 25. Thank you so much, Pam. We are going to start the countdown on Mr. Napoleon Button here at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Vid end. So cute. Huh? Huh? Okay. Huh? Okay. Pam Avery, you got him, dear. Thank you so very much. Pam Avery. You got Napoleon Button. Napoleon Button is yours. And would you like to add on the clothespin? <laughs> would you? Would you like to see my board, Pam? It's very informative. These are the ones I have left. <laughs> would you like a clothespin? They're very woody. let me know. No pressure. You got it. 
They are two dollars. I just wanted to let everybody know. Really, I, it's just for the because those are actually vintage clothespins. So I had to get the vintage clothespins and the double-sided nails. So really, they're just they're just a fun. Twenty-eight. This is a unique little grouping. If you're someone like me who likes miniatures, these are going to start at twelve dollars. And you're getting this little cluster. Hi, my Pam. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? I'm selling clothespins, Pam. For $2. No, but really they're cool, I think. So starting at $12, you're getting this little dish. Now the dish itself is Royal Albert Crown China Made in England Lady... Lady, Lady Gay, Lady Gay. That's what it says on the bottom. And it is the little dish, and I'll show you the dish in the minute, in the minute, in a minute. But what inside is what I love. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine handmade clay vegetables, and they're tiny and they're so detailed. So what should we start with? Let's just start with the corn. So here's the corn. I don't know if they're clay or they feel like ceramic. So some kind of ceramic clay. I don't know, but they are so detailed. So we have the little corn and the husk. It's miniature, perfect for spring. We've got, look at this. Look at this little head of lettuce. Look how fine that is. Like what an amazing job somebody did on that. And they are ceramic. So we've got the little, the little lettuce. Then we've got a bigger carrot. Got one bigger carrot. I just think these are adorable. We got an artichoke. You do? <gasps> I didn't know that. We got the little artichoke. These are my favorite. You've got two heads of cabbage. Look at the details on these. Two heads of cabbage, so fine. Somebody did such an amazing job. You've got a watermelon. A little baby watermelon. And two more carrots, but these are smaller. And then you're getting this dish, which is like, they made the dish look like little um, cross stitch, little cross stitch of this house and farm scene, like cottage scene, but it's all pixelated like a cross stitch. How many times can I say cross stitch? And it's got the two little handles. So like, this is like your farm and then you've got all your little vegetables. So again, the cabbage, the other cabbage, the artichoke, the watermelon, the three carrots, the lettuce, and the, it's corn. Feed me Seymour. And they're all in their little garden. But I see Robin in at 12. Thank you so much, Robin. We are gonna start the countdown on these at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Debbie and Teddy are offering. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, Jackie. And those are going to Robin Watson. Thank you so much, Robin. Robin Watson. Thank you so much. 
dear. Thank you so very much. I don't know what I was going to say. Thank you, Robin. I think you already got a safety pin. Or a clothespin. So you probably don't want another one. All right. Up next. These are... Jackie, you wanted weirdos? I got weirdos. These are going to start at $8. And I have got a pair of Shefford. Shefford. Um, Japan salt and pepper shakers. And are you ready for these? These are different. These are different. I don't know. I don't know what to say about them. They're they're monkeys. <laughs> We've got a very happy monkey wearing a like butler's hat. They're in very good condition. He's got five holes on the back of his head. Weirdo alert. And then we've got the grumpy monkey. And he has got four holes on his head. But I thought it was very cool that their ears had not been broken. They're very kitschy, different. I, I'm sure, I'm not saying they're rare. I'm sure that they're out there. I just haven't seen them in person along my travels, so I had to grab them. And they do have their little stoppers. They're brothers, Songsmith. They're brothers. This is Grumpy Gary, and this is Happy Harry. They're brothers. Grumpy Gary is annoyed with Happy Harry because he always eats all the bananas, and he's just happy and careless. And then he is always falling on the freaking banana peels. And he gets sick of it. He's just sick of it. Anyways, they are about three and a half inches tall. And they're really fun. Really, really good condition. Really no paint loss, no chips, no cracks. Nope. Not even really any crazing. I mean, he's a little crazed, but no crazing. Yeah. But anyways... We are going to start the countdown on them at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Big end. On Happy Harry, Grumpy Gary, Brothers for Life. Hashtag Brothers for Life. But they're pretty cute. But they're pretty cute, I'd have to say. There's one thing in tonight's sale that I am very excited to show you guys. Very excited. Lisa Jens. You got them. Thank you so much, dear. Lisa, I think that is your first purchase of the night. May I offer you a clothespin? Pam, are you still here? Pamela Blanchard. These are my clothespins I'm offering. I have this many left. Would you like a clothespin? They're $2 add-on. They're very fancy. I even made a board. I'm all professional. Just let me know, Lisa. If you'd like one, I can add one to your order. Oh, you got it, Lisa. This one's yours. I mean, I don't know if this one exactly is going to be yours. Pam, so what they are is their clothespins, right? If you guys missed it, if you make a purchase tonight while supplies last, I can do an add-on of a clothespin for $2. And these are vintage clothespins that I have hammered in double-sided nails to. So imagine this is your wall or your bulletin board or anywhere you can stick a nail. And you just plop them in your wall like that. And then when you want to change out your ephemeras or your recipe cards or um, your photographs or anything like that in your house, you don't have to worry about framing them. You just can take whatever out if you get sick of it and replace it. And then this just makes a tiny hole in your wall. No big deal. You don't have to drill nothing. All It's very simple to install. You just push it in. They're fun. I use them in my house. So I thought I'd offer you some. May I add on two to my second? So do you want three in all, Lynn? 
three in all or two in all? I just put, add one to my second. You got it. I'll take yours off. Thank you guys so very much. You got it. Number 13. Alrighty, this, because I have some higher priced items in throughout the sale, I tried to mix some higher priced and smaller priced, you know what I mean? Yeah, you want another one? I got you. Got you, Robin. All right, so this little cutie here is gonna start at $8, and I don't know anything about her. I also got her at that estate sale that I waited in line for for four hours. I think she would be, gosh, is she German? I'm unsure. So on the back of her neck, all it says is 061-4. And she is a beautiful doll. I love my dolls, you guys know this. She is a very thin celluloid, hand-painted. She's got this beautiful hand-tatted little bonnet on her head. She's got a silk scarf. She's got hand-sewn, you're welcome, Robin, um, felted arms and hands. And she's got this black corset on. And then she has got on a um, red ticking skirt with black trim and her little lace tatted apron. And then she's got on her wooden clogs. Would that make her Dutch? She Dutch. Now I will say there is one little age spot back here, but it is on the back, but from the front, she's in lovely condition. She is, 10 inches tall, but to me, it comes down to her face. And she's that really thin, thin celluloid. Like, um, you could just crush her head, you know? Um, but definitely older, probably a souvenir doll of the times. Probably, oh gosh, what, 50s? 50s? But she does stand up on her own. Woo! Or you could put her in a doll stand. But she's just beautiful. And I love her little bonnet and her hand-painted hair. And if you took her bonnet off, her head would just be beautiful. But I do like the bonnet as well. She's just really sweet. I'm kind of particular about my dolls. They have to have a certain look to them. And she definitely had that. And I just love her felted body. It's such a nice little detail. You can tell she was really well made. But I see Vintage Rose in at 15. Hi, Vintage Rose. Hi, Marianne. Miss you. We are going to start the countdown on her at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one bid end. I also love her sweet little lips and I didn't even show you her marking on the back. She is marked on the back right there. She's lovely. Isn't she lovely? Mm -hmm. Love me. She is going to Dusty Moose. Thank you so much, Dusty. Dusty Moose. For 27. Thank you so much, Dusty. She's coming home to you. I shall name her Michelle. Michelle is coming to you, Dusty. <laughs> Thank you so very much. And Dusty, would you like to add on a clothespin? <laughs> It's yours if you want it. Okay, I will, I got you. I put her with it. Alrighty then. 
Number 15. Oh, this one is a little, I mean, it's different for me, but not too far out of my realm. But I look for these all the time just because they have a really good collector's market and they are really well made. And I never find them at antique malls, definitely not thrift stores or anything like that. But they are one of my always to look for items. This is going to start at $14, which is weird because you wouldn't think that of me, but I'm just being honest. So I have a Joan Rivers bee brooch. Now we all know Joan Rivers. I, I'm not necessarily a fan, not necessarily not a fan, but her jewelry line was extremely well made. I think she mostly sold on QVC, but these B brooches are elusive. Um, obviously, you guys know, I'm going to show a little shoulder. I love bees. Um, and these bee pins, they're just really well made. They have a beautiful sparkle to them. I love how she did the jemmy eyes. They made, She made them in a bunch of different colors and styles. This one is one of the simpler ones, which I feel like is good because it can pair with more items. Now, again, you don't have to wear your brooches. Imagine him on the corner of your curtain or on the corner or bottom of your lampshade or on your purse or, I mean, brooches are so universal and I love the sparkle and quality of Joan Rivers pieces. I know that's weird. It is marked Joan Rivers on the back right there. And he's just a little guy. He's just at an inch and there is a very big collector's market for these little bumblebees now the more like decorative ones they go higher but they're still pretty elusive so i was happy to be able to find one why am i using my hand when i have my handy dandy majigger right there but very sparkly really good quality really well made but we are going to start the countdown. I see Laza in at 15. Thank you so much, Laza. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Really? That's a cool story to have. They're so pretty. Joan, you did good. You did good, Joan. Laza, you got it. Thank you so much. And Laza, just let me know if you would like to add a clothespin to your bumblebee brooch. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing that. I'm sorry. I only have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. I only had enough to make 15. You think vintage clothespins would be easier to find? Because I can't, of course, use new ones. That wouldn't count. All right. Up next... Most withered looking one. Mm, oh, look at this one, Laza. It's been like clipped and unclipped so many times. See, I love tactile stuff like that. It's been clipped and unclipped from the clothesline so many times that you can see where it's worn down from the finger pressing. Woo, watch out for that thing. Isn't that fun? I'll put that with your brooch. I'll clip your brooch in it. There you go. I just gotta remember what number that was. Oh, there it is. All right, this next item is a mix between vintage and Victorian. It's a marriage. And it's gonna start at $24, $24 because I did buy both the pieces and then put them together. But any who's wazies. I have a vintage jewelry casket. 
So you can still see my marks from where I cleaned it. I'm sorry, the glass cleaner left streaks. I'll fix that though. So this is a vintage jewelry casket. It is a prong set glass lidded one. This one, however, though, does not have glass along the sides. It's just a beautiful gold filigree detailing around the sides. But see up here, the floral detailing, and then this is like an open lattice work style. It does have the four legs, obviously. <laughs> and it has a red velvet bottom. And then on the front here, so when I picked up this jewelry casket, they would have normally had like a gold matching filigree medallion in the center of the glass. However, this one was missing that piece and there was a little bit of glue residue that I could not get off, so it needed something in the center. So I was able to come across this beautiful um, oil paint, Victorian oil painting in a silver frame that I think was more than likely maybe on the front of like a Victorian photo album, but it was just this piece. Um, and I thought that they looked really good together because the person who painted this hand painted her jewelry gold. So it really brings out the gold in the casket. And then to make it not so, you know, ugly on the back, I did add some newspaper. Unfortunately, you can see the glue on the underside. There was really no way to hide the glue. Um, so unfortunately there is glue there, but I did try to make it pretty on the back. <laughs> um, but the jewelry box itself is pretty big. It is six and a quarter by five and it is three and a quarter inches tall. But the piece in the center right there is a Victorian painting. So just really pretty. They did a very good job. But we are going to start the countdown. I see Robin in at 31. Thank you so much, Robin. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. You could, Songsmith. That'd be a really, really good idea. I racked my brain how to hide the glue, and the only thing I could think of was to put something on this side to cover that. But I didn't want to... I don't know. I... I have the too much jeans, so sometimes I have to step back. But even on the pieces that come on this originally, you can see the glue, right? Because, like, you have to. So I don't, there's got to be a better way, but me nor the manufacturers have thought of it, unfortunately. Robin Watson, thank you so much, dear. Thank you, thank you. And I know you already got your clothes pins, so you're good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robin. Of course, you're always welcome to add on more. It's totally up to you. Oh my gosh, I love this next piece. This next piece is so me. It's totally something I would have in my house. And really, I should keep it because I love it that much. But I'm going to offer it. It is going to start at $20. And it is this vintage washboard. And technically, oh, thank you. That is so sweet. Yes, that'd be a good idea, Dusty. That's a really good idea. Um, technically, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Anyways, this is a vintage washboard. And it's starting at $20, and it says, ideal for silks, hosiery, and lingerie, or handkerchiefs. Just the right size to fit a bucket, pail, or lavatory. Packs easily into suitcase or traveling bag. Columbus Washboard Company, Columbus, Ohio. So it is, oh, I was going to say, technically I should save this for my magnet sale, but I didn't. So it is this vintage withered um, wooden washboard. 
great in a kitchen or laundry room or if you're me in your living room um totally up to you but it does have its little wash feet and then on the side it's different it says double handy use either side according to fabric and it's got a pair of ladies hosieries a woman's slip a woman's bra and a martini on this side but what i did for it is i essentially i mean i didn't turn it into it is but a magnet board so it's coming with because it's a washboard right these are some of my favorite favorite advertisements they're incredibly hard to find now if you google image this you can find scans of them on like etsy and um other places on the internet but this is an original this is not a scan this is from my favorite fairy soap advertisement book they're extremely hard to find but this is tom's bath and it is a mom using the bar of fairy soap there's little tom and then there's the fairy pointing to the fairy soap bar right there and then up here i have one of my little magnets and i had this little piece because these are the types of things i will spend money on and buy this tattered little pink ribbon with um millinery flowers on it and i just glued them onto a magnet so that you can stick this on the magnet and on the back it has the story of two white kittens so it is double-sided because it was in an advertisement book but this is so good right here Oh, that's awesome. And then you just simply stick the magnet on and there's your little magnet board. And you can, of course, of course, I know you know, but um, trade out the images. And then imagine if you win this and you get one of my cool clothespin things, you can put that on the side through the wood and add more. Mm -hmm. But it is pretty tall, but very thin, so it shouldn't be too difficult to ship. And I just love the warm nails on it. And the soap on here from the washing, the dried soap suds. I just really, really love it. But we are going to start the countdown. Hi, Roberta. Thank you so much, Roberta. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 nine eight seven six five four three two and one bit end but this is like me personified like this is my house decor right here like totally would have this in my house 100 percent. i love it very very much so Don't break it, Ariana. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Roberta, you got it. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. And thank you, everyone else, too. You guys are the best. And, um, Roberta, would you like to add on a clothespin? You can get as many as you want. I have eight left. You just let me know. Thank you so much. And if you joined in a little late, just so you know, there is no bigger giveaway at the end. However, for every purchase you make, you are going to get a Victorian cabinet card or a Victorian photo. This is just a sampling of some of the ones I have. So I don't know which one you're going to get, but for every purchase, you are going to get at least one. And they're all different, of course. Um, so... For every purchase, you're going to get a Victorian photograph. You'll add two. I got you. I think. Where are you? Roberta, where'd you run off to? I swear I am. A professional. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. All right, I got your two, Roberta. Thank you so much. I want to show. 
I think I might cheat. Am I allowed to cheat? I can, right? Because it's my show. Dang it. I'm going to cheat. All right. This next item is going to start at $20. I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Ruthie B. And this is probably one of my favorite items I've found in a long time. It's very silly, and you probably won't like it. <laughs> I'm so good at selling things, aren't I? But I just fell in love with this. So I went to an estate sale, and what this estate sale was, was it was an antique store that was going out of business. And this was part of their antique, their big antique sign. The, this was hanging from it. And I instantly felt a connection. Now, you may need to consider shipping on this item. And I almost didn't bring these to a live sale. I was really thinking about bringing these to Misty's pop-up in June when I go. But I just felt like you guys needed first dibs because I just thought that they were amazing. All right. So I have a pair of scissors. Listen, if you've got some serious crafting to do, these could be for you. I should, give me a minute because I need paper. Just one second. I should have thought to grab paper, but I didn't. I got paper. Now, <laughs> what you do with these, I cannot control. If you get arrested, don't come for me. And I had these in my car when I picked up Tiny Human from school, and I was real worried. So, I didn't measure them. 12, 24. They're about 26 inches tall. And are you ready? Are you ready? Listen, AS ASMR. They are legit scissors. They are legit scissors. Like, watch. I'm going to cut some paper. This is going to be... I don't... I didn't say they were easy to operate, okay? Are you ready? Did you see it? They're sharp. That... Let me... Sh the proof is in the pudding. Let me show you. I just chopped this right in half. Two, two pieces of paper. Just chop it right in half. I'll show you again. Slow motion this time. See it? These are real scissors. What I was thinking is if you are a crafter, these would be really cool in your craft room. They are a conversation starter. I ought not to show you. Here they are. One side is a little more faded because they were in a window of a store. Yes, I do believe so. They were probably used at the ribbon cutting of the antique store. But they are real. And I love the sound. And, um, but I guess you guys don't like my scissors. That's okay. I'll use this in shipping. Like, you'll just be like, I wonder what Ariana's doing right now. And I'll be like, I'm shipping. Don't worry about it. But they're really cool. But they're starting at $20, and we are going to start the countdown on them if anybody's interested in my giant pair of scissors. So, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. My friends are going to call me. They'll be like, what are you doing? Shipping. Don't worry about it. Imagine a haircut. Hi, harlots and trinkets, the one and only. I think they're fantastic. I'm a big fan of these big old scissors. 
Three hours later, I'm shipping. No, Songsmith, I can ship way faster with these. Like, imagine the speed I could, I could scissors cut things with. <laughs> Vintage Rose, you got them. I think they're very cool. <laughs> I was really excited about them. This was my favorite purchase of the day. <laughs> But they are very sharp, vintage rows. They are not play pretend. They are for reals. So do be careful. Do be careful. Would vintage rows, can I interest you in an add on clothespin for $2? I have four, five, six left. You have a giant clothespin? That would have been perfect. Just let me know, vintage rows, if you would like a clothespin. Thank you so very much. I'm glad they found a new home. I had a lot of fun with those. I really did. I bet you could. I, I bet you could. Yes, three, please. Oh, that means we have three left. Three clothespins left. I'm glad you guys liked my clothespins. I thought they were fun. I like them. All right. We're doing glass. What? Ariana's doing glass? That's weird. I know, okay? But since I don't know anything about it, we're going to start it off at $12. Could be really good, could be not so good. I'm unaware because I'm not a glass gal, but it is really, really pretty. So starting at $12, we have this, I think it's beautiful, glass paperweight. And what I like about this one is for me, it's always the pieces with the ir iridescence in it. So if you see, there are four like big flakes of iridescence in there and then a purple kind of swirly galaxy aesthetic now i will say i don't when it comes to glass again not a glass gal purple is kind of the more elusive color for me and i hadn't found a purple paperweight to my dragon purchase, Pam Avery. Yes, I did. To your lizard, right? Yes, I did. Um, and then it has a very polished bottom and you can see the swirl all the way down to the bottom. And it's just really well done. No chips, no cracks beautiful paperweight it's prettier in person paperweights are really hard to show on camera but in person you can see all the striations oh there's a little more um of the iridescent flakes over here i didn't see those little guys hiding see you can see so much more but those are so pretty but we are going to start the countdown very good shiny shiny bottom at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Hi, Nicole. How are you? And I promise whoever gets this is pretty in person. And it's like cased. I meant to say that. Like the purple's cased. It doesn't go all the way to the end. That's also hard to show. But I'm a professional. <laughs> Roberta, you got it. Thank you so much, dear. I really appreciate you. Ooh, it's toasty in here. Out in the withering office. I'm profusing. Oh, I missed you guys so, so, so much. I am surprised I haven't pulled any of my three things that I'm really excited to sell tonight. I hope you guys stay up with me because I got some really cool things. Okay, up next, starting at $15, I have got this beautiful piece. Now, um, I was on vacation last week. And I only got to go thrifting for 30 minutes for the entire week. And this is the only thing 
I picked up at the antique store that I went to. I only got to go in there for 30 minutes and this is the only thing I grabbed. So, it is a beautiful vintage Austrian necklace. Now, I don't know what this stone is, but I will tell you, here's the back so you can see. And then right here it says made in Austria. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, made in Austria. And Austria has the best quality costume jewelry, I think. Um, and then it's also a brooch. So I think that it was a brooch. Oh, where are you, Colleen? That is early. <laughs> it is a brooch, and I think someone converted it to a necklace. I don't think that originally it was a necklace, but they converted it to a necklace. You could unconvert it if you wanted to. Just take these two jump rings off, and it could go back to being a brooch. But they turned it into a necklace, and the gold flakes, they're sparkly, which I don't know if it's coming across. But it's turquoise and like gold sparkle stone with, you can see it's prong set. And it's got this gorgeous detailing all the way around it. And then the chain is 11 inches. So about a six, mm, five and a half inch drop on that. But absolutely beautiful. No, 11 inch drop. What am I talking about? Eh? I'm not sure. But it is beautiful. And then the pendant itself is like a hair over an inch. It's very large. And again, you can wear it as the necklace or as the brooch. And then there's the little made in Austria plaque. And I don't know the stone. I wish I did, but it is beautiful. Definitely a stone. I just, I'm not a stone expert. But we are going to start the countdown on this, and it does come with the chain, the gold chain. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. She burfer. I've never seen a stone like that. Bid and bid. When I went to my doctor's appointment today, she says, you should really drink more fluids. <clears throat> That's a chuckle. Dusty, you got it. That came all the way from the beach. Then to Georgia. Then to you. Thank you so very much. Did you? Have you? Is, no, you got you got a clothespin. I was just looking out for you, girl. I was just looking out for you. I didn't want you to miss out on your clothespin. I didn't want you to be devastated that you didn't get a clothespin later on, you know? Okay, okay, okay. It's happening. It's happening. Everybody calm down. Calm down. You'll take another one. I got you. Which means I have two left. Two left. So, huge, huge, huge thank you shout out to Harlots and Trinkets. If you don't follow her on Instagram, her style is like chef's kisses all over the place. She is a more well executed version of my style but like times a thousand times better but i was able to purchase some things from her so thank you thank you so much um and i put together these groupings i have three of them tonight and i think personally they are some of my favorite groupings i've ever put together and you know i love groupings hi arian and this is one of them so we're gonna start this one off at forty dollars just because I think they are fantastic. That's just my opinion. And yeah. So it is a grouping of three items. And here they are. It's going to be kind of hard to show you. They definitely display better on a um, table 
or on a desk or on a shelf somewhere but you are getting this vintage metal topiary and it holds up a Victorian cabinet card and it comes with a corresponding um, Victorian wedding millinery flower crown. Now this is obviously, well not obviously, but this is not the crown she is wearing in the picture. This is starting at 40 for the group. Um, it's just a, a similar one. Uh, there's no way I could attribute this to her. I did not get them together, but they are very similar in style just to kind of give you an idea of what the time was like. So here is the picture. So it is a lovely Victorian couple, which is kind of odd. She's wearing black on her wedding. If that is her wedding. I'm actually unsure. That I didn't even notice that at first. But so amazing. And then you're getting the, t the topiary. Now it sits perfectly. So this one doesn't need a magnet because the the angles on the topiary are leaning so it just sits so beautifully in there and then we'll get to the crown so this would have been what a lovely lady wore it is so gorgeous um i know harlots and trinkets she does a lot of antique french in her aesthetic so i'm not entirely sure if she would consider this french or not but just absolutely beautiful and the condition is impeccable considering the time period. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to put it on. But it's so fragile, but it's lasted. I'll be sure to package it really well. It is just stunning. <laughs> Maybe a second marriage. Were second marriages allowed in that era, I wonder? Do we know? You would think I'd know, but it just sits. Oh, hi, Kelly. So perfectly. Like, it. they just were meant to be together. Like, they just spoke to me and said, this is how it should be. And then I did it. I did it like that. But I see, Kelly, just confirm that your offer is on this, dear, that you're not lagging. I don't think you are, but you might just be in for the the gusto, but I just want to make sure. And we are going to start the countdown on this. I have Kelly in. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one bid end thank you so much kelly i love these these were very hard for me to get rid of i have three tonight and i i struggled i struggled i did indeed Thank you so much. It's amazing. It really is. And thank you again to Harlots and Trinkets for allowing me to purchase that. Thank you so much. So that is going to Kelly. Kelly Smith. Thank you so much, Kelly. I really, really appreciate you. And you know, you know what that needs? A clothespin. I have two left. Would you like one? <laughs> I feel so weird. I sold, well, I attempted to sell insurance for like a week in my early 20s, and I hated it so much. I don't have that like pushy salesman in me at all, like in the slightest. I'm awful at it. But if you want one, Kelly, you may get one. I have two left. <laughs> All right, going from beautiful Victorian flower crown, you got them. Thank you so much, Kelly. And we are sold out of clothespins. How fun. I wonder if I'm gonna do that again. 
I liked doing like that. I mean, I it made me nervous, but I liked it. It was fun. All right, so going from the beautiful Victorian to a very unique piece of advertisement. Now, you guys tell me. Be honest with me. I'm not saying it's rare or anything, but let me know if you've seen this before because I would be curious to know. This is going to take a special person. I like it, but do you? I don't know. It would be really good for Halloween. It's going to start at $14. And if Ashar were here, she would say, disclaimer, I am not responsible for the fact that this has caution poison on it. <laughs> don't lick it, okay? But this says, Seabert Magic Fly Killer. Caution poison. So it is this vintage tin. And like I said, it says Cybert Magic Fly Killer. And it's got this great graphic of a fly here. And then my favorite part is right here where it says caution. And it has the crossbones and it says poison. I love that. Um, and then here is the cork. You would have opened this and put whatever poisony stuff you wanted to put in there. And then I imagine it would seep out of these little fabric. They feel like little carpets. They would seep out of the, the little carpets. But the tin is in really, really good um, condition. And it says antidote. Should this poison be taken by mistake, give whites or raw eggs and lukewarm water or drinks of of warm water and mustard. Induce vomiting by tickling throat with finger or feather. Send for a physician at once. Send for a physician. Isn't that fascinating? And then it says, keep this tin away from children and pet animals. Keep tin filled with water, lasts all season. I like it. <laughs> Imagine it on an easel, but no, I think it'd be really fun for Halloween. I love that. Did you guys know that if you take poison by mistake to eat raw eggs and lukewarm water or drinks of warm water and mustard and then tickle your throat with a feather? Did you guys know that? If you ever ingest poison, I got you. You can say, I know what to do. I saw it on the Withering Cottage. Drink eggs, warm water, and tickle your throat with a feather. Hurry, stat. <laughs> oh, Karen. I just love seeing your name come across my screen. I adore you so much. But we are going to start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one bit end. St. Paul, Minnesota. Manufactured by H.E. Shabert. Magic fly killer. Don't lick this. I don't condone it. My lawyer, are you listening? I told him not to lick it. Dusty. Dusty. Thank you so much, Dr. Dusty. I think that's a really cool piece. That's why I got it, because it was different. I like different. Number 25. Oh gosh, this one makes me nervous because here's the thing. I know very little about this. I know the art of it and I know that it's very time consuming and I don't understand it, but I just feel like I'm not gonna have much to tell you about it. But it's very cool. So this is gonna start at $24 and if there isn't any interest, I understand because it's a very neat niche, niche item, but I think the art of this is so fascinating. So, I have a piece of antique, hand-carved, I believe this is ivory. Now, you can buy and trade ivory if it's pre, 
I think it's 1947 or 43. And this definitely does predate that. Um, but it is the art of the Chinese puzzle ball. So it is two pieces. This is the first piece. Now I will say there is a little separation here at the base. I think that that's just like it wasn't carved in a solid piece. I think it was maybe, I'm unsure really, but we've got this beautiful carved gentleman here. Again, I apologize for my ignorance. Unfortunately, I can't know everything about everything, but I do try to know as much as I can, but there's so many things to know. And then here's the bottom marking. And here's the stand. So just look at that carving work. It's amazing. I could never in my life. Um, the base itself is about five inches tall. And then this is the part that like my brain cannot comprehend. So this is the puzzle ball. So there are at least four balls within this ball. Like this ball and then three other balls. And they roll around loosely. But they were carved like... So this was a solid, right? And they carved the next ball through the holes of the first ball enough to get it loose. And then did it two more times inside the second ball. So you can see it's loose. So they would carve away under, I don't even know. You'll have to look it up yourself because I'm doing a terrible job explaining it. But they don't cut this. They carve the little ball inside the little ball inside the little ball. Like a Marchushka doll, but inside. It's like a ship in a bottle meets a Marchushka doll. And I don't understand how it's possible. Meets a Rubik's Cube. It's all three. And I don't get it. Some kind of wizardry. But amazing. And then it just sits. Because it is a piece of art. This little ivory puzzle ball. And it just sits on top of there. On display. It's amazing. You really should look up the art. Because I did a terrible job explaining it. But you get both pieces. And we are going to start the countdown. At 15... 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bit in. Hi, Patty. I'm so sorry I missed you. Where are my manners? Welcome. Welcome, and thank you for being here. It's so different, and I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand it, my brain. I don't, I can't. It hurts. Lisa Jens, thank you so much, Lisa. And Lisa, if you can do a better job explaining that to me later, feel free, because I, I really, I don't know. It seems so complicated. I'm gonna research it, and then I'll get back to you. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have a quick and easy little item. It's going to start at $12, and I think it's really pretty. But you can also split these up, and the one piece is a really, really good display piece. So starting at $12, we have this vintage, I think, I guess I can't say for certain, display stand. So I'm going to take off the globe first so you can see the stand. So it's got all this carved detailing in it. And it's, I was going to say, it's probably made in India and I was correct. It is made in India. But how good is this for like anything? Like my imagination could run wild with this. Like imagine a teacup, a teapot, because it's got a pretty big base. You could hang something pretty large from there. Your favorite Christmas ornaments, a mini wreath, like 
a, a lantern, you could, a pocket watch, your necklaces, I mean, anything on this. And I love picking these up. I have the hardest time finding them. But I finally found one. Here it is. So really, it's just for this display piece because I think that these are very useful in a lot of vignettes and displays. You could put a hat on. I mean, just so much stuff. But it is going to come with this beautiful, I believe, hand-blown glass orb baby head. There you go. And I love the coloring in this. It's got some beautiful, like, milky iridescence to it. And I did add a little piece of antique um, faded, my favorite color, Band-Aid, <laughs> ribbon to the top of the globe. Just so, because I didn't want to sell you a naked stand, you know. I didn't get them together. I just put them together. They are really pretty together. It looks like a bubblegum bubble. Like, it's really fun and playful. If you, I don't know, I imagine, I have a picture over there that would look so good with this. Should I sell you my picture? I don't really want to. <laughs> Let me just get the picture so I can show you. Let me, I just want to show you your, your possibilities. I have this picture hanging on the wall in my office. I don't think I am going to sell it, but I want to show it with the um, thing so you can see. If you can find this on eBay or somewhere, it's old sheet music and it says, Our Pretty Lane by Hopkins. And it's got all these fun bubbles. But like this with that would be so fun. See, see, see the vision, bubbles, bubble, bubble gum, bubble. Anyways, I will start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bit end. I know, Laza, but I can't keep everything, even though I want to. Now I gotta try to hang that picture back up. That's gonna be difficult. But it's just like a big bubble gum bubble. And I'm in so deep. And that is going to go to Robin Watson. Thank you so much, Robin. You are the bee's knees. Thank you, thank you for buying my bubblegum bubble. My bubblegum bubble. Number three. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Patty. It was Robin Watson. You were so, so close. So close. All right, this next item, I think I'm just gonna... Do I wanna do it as a... I'll just do it as an offer up, but we'll go quickly. Um, I love these. I don't know if other people love these, but I love them. I have a pair, and they're going to start at $12 for the pair. So the very first thing, and you're going to love it, I already know, is this vintage new old stock feathered flamanga. And it is by, oh gosh, Mangelson's? Our dealer for a complete range of floral supplies, doll making, miniatures, beads, sequins, and much, much more. So it is a vintage new old stock um, feathered flamingo in the down position. But it's also coming with, I love these. I do. The, this large souvenir seashell and plaster flamingo soap dish, trinket dish, any kind of dish you want. It's made out of a large clamshell. You can see the clamshell. And my favorite, Band-Aid Pink plaster. And then it also has a plaster flamingo or chalkware. 
So the Flamingo itself is actually chalkware. It's not plastic. A lot of times these are plastic. This one is chalkware. And then it's got two larger shells on either side. And then it's got these two shells like this. So this would be a great piece too. Like maybe you're not too into the Flamingo. You can put, that might be a little big, a piece of ephemera in between those two shells. See what I'm saying? And then put some pearls or I know, I know, I know. I have too many. And then take your flamingo and do something with him somewhere. But I love these. Um, I have a, my upstairs bathroom is decorated in these. I just think they are so fun. But you're getting him and this, this flamingo. But we are gonna start the countdown. I don't see any offers yet. But if you put in the start bid before the bid end, it, it's yours. It's yours. You get it for the start price. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Oh, there's no start bid. It's starting at $12. I'm sorry. $12. It's my first day. I've not done this before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Starting at $12. Thank you, Robin. Now we shall count down. <coughs> my bad. At 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. You know, it's one of those days. It's just one of those days. The flamingo. Robin, you got it. Thank you so very much. Robin Watson. 412. Thank you, Robin. Thank you so much. What's next? Number six. Ooh, this is a very, very me pairing. Like, 100%, I would, that's okay, have this in my house. But it didn't make it to my house for some reason, but I love this pairing. So this pairing is going to start off at $14. So the first thing you're going to be getting is this um, vintage, just right, highest quality uh, elastic spool. Um, there is still some elastic on it, but a lot of it had been used. But the graphics on this spool are just so good. And what I did, so here's the spool. I just love it so much. It's my favorite, favorite color. And what I did was I took some silver tinsel and just wrapped it around. It's not glued or anything, so you could take it off if you wanted to. But there is quite a bit of tinsel um, on this spool. But it's just right, number 11, quality elastic. And then it says wins in the stretch. And it's got two bulldogs pulling at either side of the elastic. And because it has a hole in the center, you could hang it on your wall if you wanted to as like a little, just little piece of art. I really, really like this. And what also what's cool about it is that it is double sided. It is double sided. So that is the first piece, but wait, it gets better. Okay. Then this is killing me. I love my things. <laughs> You are getting this vintage celluloid bulldog baby rattle. So why you would give this to a baby? I mean, you could crush this so easily. Surprisingly, it doesn't have any dents to it. I don't know how that happened because you guys know this thin celluloid um, dents so easily. 
but he is not dented at all. So he is just this beautiful early vintage child rattle. And then look at him with the with the spool. Oh, it's so fun. And again, you can hang it on your wall or just put it on a shelf. But, oh, I just love that little pairing of the two bulldogs. But we are going to start the countdown. You can do it in so many different ways. I don't know. At 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Oof. Use it as a training tool. Come here! Oh my gosh, I found a puppy in the middle of the road today. It almost got hit by a car. It was traumatic. I got him though. Thank you so much, Roberta. I love that. That's probably, other than the hat groupings, that's one of my favorite items tonight. Thank you so much. Roberta M for 45. Wither is doing so good. She is a daddy's girl. She's no longer my dog. She belongs to my husband. But it's fine, I guess. It's fine, I guess. I'm going to cheat again because I kind of want to do my thing. Wait, which one is it? All right. Another thank you to Harlots and Trinkets. Because I have something so amazing. Is it not even in here? Well, good thing I did that because it's not even in here. I have something so amazing that I can guarantee you've probably never seen. And I could have brought this for the um, taxidermy part, but it was already in the sale, so it wouldn't have counted. Now, this is going to be one of my highest star items of the night and for a while, too. I am going to start it at $75 because you're getting two really, really amazing pieces. Um, and because I put them together, the price kind of doubled, you know what I mean? But I love this so much. Again, it's one of my favorite pairings I've put together. So starting at $75, I have this amazing piece. Okay, I will. She's just big now. She weighs more than my seven-year-old. <laughs> so I have this amazing pairing. I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the hat stand. So we have an antique hat stand right here. And it is beautiful. So here is the bottom. Gorgeous, gorgeous filigree design. And then it has the metal... And I like that this kind of looks like a bell, like a doorman's bell. And then it goes up and it's got the open top like this. So, I mean, anytime, I mean, test me on it, but anytime you go to an antique store and you see one of these hat stands, I can almost guarantee you it's going to say not for sale. The only time you will find these is if you manage to find an antique store going out of business, which is how I got this or you run into one um, at an estate sale somehow. But if you find these at an antique mall, they are never, never, ever for sale. So here is one, it is pretty tall, 12 inches tall. And then this piece is coming with this antique cabinet card. And as you can see, she's wearing a very large feathered hat in her morning outfit. Beautiful condition on the cabinet card. Whoa! Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Did you see that? I don't even know how. That is amazing. Okay, look, so here's the front. It is a thick cabinet card. If you've ever handled a cabinet card, you know they're like cardboard. That is the front. 
And look at the back. It must have been like resting against another photo for a really long time or maybe it was just a negative. It doesn't look like a transfer. It had to be a negative from another car. Like they used the same card twice maybe. Like this one was a dud and so they covered it. I don't know. That's crazy though. I've never seen that. But that's the back. They reused a cardboard backing. It scared the crap out of me. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't expecting that. I looked and I was like, what? But anyways, she's coming with. But wait, just wait. I can almost guarantee you, you have never seen a cooler Victorian hat in your life. Again, thank you to Redhead, or to Harlows and Trinkets. So this is definitely Victorian. Definitely morning and definitely incredible very hard for me to get rid of now i will tell you the birds they've seen better days but this is spectacular so this is a truly victorian ladies hat all right and it has got two honest to goodness taxidermy birds on there so you can see his beak has been broke off, but he is a real bird with glass eyes. You can see his some of his feathers from the top of his head have come loose. Sorry, there's a fuzzball. And then you have this one, which is made more of like a corsage. So that is a real bird nestled in there behind the bow of the hat and his wings are coming up the side. And then on the front, it's got this big bow. And then all around the rim, it's got black um, glass beads, not missing any of the beads. The beads go all the way around. The entire hat is a black felt. But look at how this bird is just nestled in there. You can see his beak and everything. And then again, it goes on the hat stand with the picture of the woman in the big furry hat. I love it. I love it. Isn't it so cool? I should not sell this and wear it to the Kentucky Derby. Hat to mourn the death, black bird. Exactly, it's definitely a Victorian morning hat, which is just so cool. I mean, I just love this. But we are gonna start the countdown. You're getting everything you see. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end so fun and again can't say thank you enough to harless and trinkets for allowing me to offer that so amazing really really fun really really hard to get rid of but like i've told you guys i can't keep all the good stuff for me because then what would you get the duds there ain't no way that's happening and it goes to Dr. Dusty. Congratulations, Dr. Dusty. That is an amazing piece. I'm a bit jealous. I would have liked to have owned that for a bit longer. But it's okay. But it's okay. It's okay. Congratulations and thank you so, so much. That's cool. I do have one more hat grouping. Even though the first one was a crown. But, you know what I mean. <gasps> now, technically. Technically. I should not be selling these. And if Rachel at the Rusty Snail is here, she may or may not be mad at me. Rachel is amazing. And she 
agreed to make me ephemera packs to bring to Misty's pop-up in June. She's going to have her own little section, and I cannot wait to see. I've been seeing what she's been putting together. Technically, these are supposed to be for the pop-up in June, but I've had so many people ask me for more ephemera packets so that I dipped into the pop-up pocket and grabbed you guys two for a choice. So I have two of the Rusty Snail ephemera packets here. They are going to start at $35 choice. $35 choice. And you can choose between orange, very summery. Oh, thank you, Robin. And I have yellow. So $35 start on choice. I'll go through them kind of quickly. So the orange one says vintage and antique shades of orange for junk journals and scrapbooking, 140 plus pieces. So I talk about these all the time. Um, but I'll do it again just in case anybody's new. So nothing in this pack is going to be modern with the exception of some of the charms at the bottom and the buttons at the bottom and some of the fabric pieces. All the actual paper items in here have taken her years to accumulate. She categorizes hand cuts and does these packets by hand. It's really quite a magnificent art. They're all coordinated. This one just happens to be in color coordinations. We have orange and yellow, 140 plus pieces plus, and what that means is she stops counting at 140 pieces. So it's 140 pieces minimum, but she adds on top of it. And then here is the back. We have a Victorian advertisement here. Now some pieces are gonna be complete some are scraps of something else. You have a little doll jacket right there. Um, these are great for crafting, decoupaging, and if you have a scanner, scan these in, use them over and over again. But like I said, they're all gonna be original ephemera pieces, uh, Victorian antique and vintage. So that, that's the orange. And then the yellow is same, 140 plus pieces. Here's the yellow. And also she has started to include a little pack of die cut pieces that she cuts out um, with her die cut machine, but it is vintage paper, but they are die cut with a modern machine. And then here's the back of the yellow. And these are pretty thick. So you're only seeing the first layers but there are many layers to these. So you're only going to see the front layers, but it goes in pretty deep. But we are going to start the countdown. Thank you, Purdy. Thank you, Tippy. I know you've been asking that that's these I had to bring them for you, girl. So we're going to start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Big end. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And if you can make it in June to Indiana to Missy's pop up, I am gonna have these as a priced, like to sell price. There's no not gonna be a offer up format. So if you've won some of these, then it would be a good time if you can make it to Indiana in June. Kimmery Ann, you got it. Which one or ones can I get you? Would you like yellow or orange? Yellow or orange? It's the l last week end in June, I believe. Oh, I'm so terrible. Don't kill me, Misty. Pretty sure, is Pam still here? She she knows. I'm so bad with dates. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Yellow, you got it. June 29th. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Barbara. June 29th. I gotta remember that. June 29th. Kimmery, Kimmery. Thank you so much, Kimmery. I really, really appreciate that. I know she does too. Thank you. And 
Um, Purdy, did you want the orange? Did you want the orange? Look at the details she puts into these. I mean, like the little, like it blows my mind. Probably not, Tiffy. I'm so sorry. Probably not. I'm going to be saving them for the pop-up. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Thank you, Purdy. Hey, <laughs> Purdy pansies. Thank you so much, dear. Oh. You're going in to the bucket. Number nine. Oh, actually, what's... Okay, number nine. Up next, I have a teeny tiny pin in a teeny tiny box. So, I have... This is going to start at $12. I have a little... Um... Oh gosh, brain freeze. <laughs> brain freeze. A little vintage needlepoint ring box. And it, it I I've not seen these before, but this is so precious. It's a little needlepoint. Like they needlepointed it and then they made it into a ring box, which I just think is so precious. And then inside, I don't have a ring. But I have got this vintage cameo brooch. And it is got this gorgeous gold filigree design on either side. I believe this would be, could be, would be, could be a collar pin. And it is in an amber color. And I don't, I think it may be celluloid on this one. It is prong set. And it is a simple C clasp. Question. Is there something wrong with the feed? I'm not sure what is happening. Thank you, Tippy. Did something happen and I've missed it? Goodness. Can you guys see me? Okay, because my screen says there's one watcher not that i mind but it says there's one person here okay that's weird does anybody else say that there's one person here not that i mind i mean i would be grateful for anybody here but it was just weird okay got it okay i just didn't want to keep going if like if you guys couldn't see anything. Okay, good. Yeah, because it says one. I don't know. <laughs> All right, good. As long as you guys, and again, I, I'm grateful for how, if I had one watcher, I'd be grateful, but I just didn't want to do something and you guys miss it. But okay, so here it is. It's beautiful. It is about an inch and a quarter long, inch and a quarter long, and it displays so sweetly in this little box. Now it's hard to show you, but when it's in the box, it's really sweet. I know, and I just, I didn't want to continue and everybody like be mad that they, <laughs> we're up to five now, woo! But um, I think I see Donna in, Donna, just to confirm, cause that was my fault, it was very confusing. Were you saying you saw 16 people or was 16 your offer? Either, either way, I just want to make sure. Cause that was weird. Uh, Okay, I see Janice in at 18. Thank you so much, Janice. We are gonna start the countdown on this. Again, it comes with a beautiful needlepoint box. So 15, 14, 13, 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one bid and hi what a day what a day and I just want to say thank you to the three of you that are watching I really appreciate it you guys are the best <laughs> I was just so confused. It kept dropping and I was like, did I say something? Did I, was that, did I say something bad? I didn't mean to. I was really confused. Donna, you got it. And then I got worried that like the world was ending outside and I had no clue. That was very confusing for me. I can't handle that. Okay, don't do that to me again. Alrighty then. Thank you, Connie. <gasps> 29! Oh no, the voice came out. 29. 29. Donna! Yay! Do you want to play? <laughs> Donna, Donna! Donna! You want to play? We broke YouTube. Wow, you guys, the nine of you gave me a lot of thumbs up. 129 thumbs up. Thanks. I'm the worst at like saying like, like, comment, subscribe. But if you want a thumbs up, you can. That's cool. If you want to. If you're not doing nothing. But you don't have to. It does have some internal issues. Maybe YouTube has pinworms. You should get that looked at, YouTube. Because we all love you. We just don't want you to have pinworms, you know? So what you got for me? Are you thinking? You trying to stump me? I see what you're up to, Donna. Something flowery. Wow, that was nice. Normally it's like, what was it? A magical bird's nest. That was one, one time. That was difficult. I'm just gonna look around for a minute so I'm not off the screen for far too long. I don't like leaving y'all hanging. Something flowery. Watch that be the one that stumps me. Something flowery? Surely I can produce a flower. Ooh, sorry, I'll be right back. Stay. Stay and hang out if you want to. Something flowery. How loosely can I take this interpretation? It turns out Apparently, I don't gravitate towards flowers. Something flowery. Ooh, I got something flowery. Is that flowery? Um, 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 um. Something flowery. I'm gonna cheat. Just a little. Not a very big cheat. All right, here we go. This is a smaller cheat. Oops. All right. So my something flowery is going to start at twenty dollars. Thank you for that, Donna. We're doing withering flowery. What what do you expect? A, a lovely bouquet of roses not here so starting at twenty dollars i have got a beautiful pin cushion an antique pin cushion with well i say antique i think i use that word too loosely i need to work better on that it's vintage teetering maybe 30s or so i've used up all my quota what does that mean what does that even mean? 
I know it was bad luck. But this is a vintage lace and silk ribbon pin cushion. And it is a ceramic top and see flowers. She has a flower in her hair. And then what I did just now was I took this large bouquet of vintage made in Japan millinery flowers. And even these millinery flowers are hard to find these little bundles and you're getting a big bushel of them. And she has all of her dainty little fingers. None of them are missing. She is in really good condition. Here's her bottom. It is a light pink. Oh, I didn't even notice she's been stabbed. She's got safety pins all inside. Look, oh, the poor baby. Your daily API quota? I haven't even been on YouTube today. I'm offended. But she's been stabbed, but she's fine. But imagine her with, like, wait. Just wait. Stay right there. I These are not for sale. These were gifted to me by a lovely, lovely friend. So I cannot sell these. But imagine your Victorian hat pins in here, right? Because this is how I have it in my display, in my house. Imagine you put your Victorian hat pins in her. And then you take a cloche, which is also how I have them displayed in my house. Stick all your hat pins in there. And then put the cloche on. So you don't have to dust all your hat pins. Shut the front door. That's amazing. That's literally how I have mine displayed. So pretty. Again, the hat pin and the clothes do not come with it, but you get the idea. And she is pretty big. She is about six and a half inches tall by six inches wide. Really, really lovely. But we are gonna start the countdown on her bippity boppity boop at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I know in her little dress, look at the ruffles on the bottom. I don't even, I'm pretty good at remembering where I get stuff. I don't remember when I got her. I've had her for a minute. And thank you, Donna. That was a fun one. Thank you so much. I am all messed up on my numbers. I used up all my brain quota today. <laughs> Robin Watson. Thank you so much, dear. I really appreciate you. She is beautiful. I just need to do an inventory. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. I don't know what happened. We're on time. <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> All right. Who's ready for the weird? Now, if you like this and you bid on this, we're all going to know how weird you are. Just saying. So keep that in mind. And because of that, because you're going to go out of your comfort zone and let everybody know how weird you are, we're going to start this at $12. That's it. Because, you know, you're... You're gonna get the name Weirdo, so I'm gonna knock it down a bit for you. So starting at $12, this may be the most interesting thing I've ever brought to a live sale. And that says a lot coming from me. What do I have, do you say? I have a tin right there. The tin is really just for storage, but if you want the tin, I'll send the tin to you. If you want it, you just let me know. It may make the shipping more, but you can have the tin. So you're getting everything. You're getting all of them. So first and foremost, we've got four sets of bunk beds. 
vintage plastic bunk beds and they stack I just this is what I've done now I will tell you in this lot there are only four orange the orange are rare and they glow which I found that out accidentally but they glow really bright the orange do not the yellow or the green just the orange anyway you're getting four sets of bunk beds and inside each bunk bed is a little baby <laughs> And at the bottom of each bed is a little baby butt. Okay. But there's three sets stacked on top. I did the stacking. Okay. So you're getting this one with the three babies and the three baby butts. Okay. You're getting this one. Same thing. Same thing. This one. Same thing. This one. Duplicate. But then inside the tin. It's a baby bunk bed party. <laughs> oh, I lied. You only get four yellow. And then you're just getting a bunch of green and orange. And the oranges glow. But what what would you use these for? I don't. Don't ask me questions. I'm unsure. But do you remember me telling you about Jane? These were hers. Yes, they do come apart. I just stacked them to show you that you could, but each one, you could make a tower as tall as you wanted because they all have holes and they all have little feet. So you can stack, 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 stack until you can't stack no more. But I just did four so you could see that you can stack them. But there's so many. And it was Jane's new old sock, you know? And each one has a little baby with a little baby butt. There's probably 30 or so in here, if not more. And you could just have the time of your life. And you're getting the four bunk beds stacked. See? You need it. You need I couldn't leave them, you know? Anyways, you're getting the whole, the whole lot. Yep. Yep. Uh, do I have a smudge stick? I do in the house, not out here. Um, Dusty, you're in at 12. I'm gonna start the countdown for you. You're getting all the, all the babies and all the butts. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bit in. Oh, you could make a bunch of baby crib earrings. They're not heavy. That could be cool. I told you. Probably the worst thing I've ever brought. But they're fun. And that's all that matters. Put them in a bubble gum machine. That would be cool. Dusty, you got them. Would you like the tin? Just let me know. Oh, I didn't even show the tin. It will be a surprise. It's a pretty tin. Here's the lid. I should have done that. It's a beautiful tin. <laughs> the tin is worth 12, I think. I, I think. I would think. Do you guys think the hat is what's causing all the glitches? Because I could talk to her for a minute. And then she'd probably stop. I could have a little talk with her. We could work it out. All right. Up next, it is not. It's not. I promise. I promise. All right. Up next, we have my final hat grouping of the evening. This one is going to start at. Oh, what are we going to start this one at? We're going to start this lot at 25 says it's a YouTube error. I have no idea. We're going to start this lot at 25. And this one, you're also getting three things. So, starting at 25, you are getting this. Somebody put this together. What? Oh. <laughs> Maybe, Susie. 
So someone took a, this was pottery, um, a pottery jug and made like their own little memory jug out of these beautiful seashells. They did a really, really, really good job. I love the iridescent ones here and here. And you can see it is a ceramic. And then there's the bottom. And then you are getting this it, um, sailor hat and it says C.A. Michael C. So it belonged to us Captain Michael C. And it is an actual vintage sailor's hat. These took me a long time to put together. If you think about finding all the pieces, it they, they took me some time. But what I did was I took the little seashell jug and then I added the little sailor's hat to it. And then this is coming with, whoop, I dropped my number, this amazing cabinet card. And I think it's so cool to see a female sailor from this time period. I just don't think it was very common. I, I mean, I'm not sh so sure when women were allowed to become sailors. But it just seems unique that you'd have an antique photograph of a female sailor. But anyways, she goes... With these and you can also kind of tuck it in the top if you wanted to or in the front or behind however you wanted to do it I had this on a riser and then had this like you know sitting up higher so that this would be in front of it like that just so amazing amazing might be a nurse but look at her outfit I think she is a sailor, but you're getting all three pieces and we are going to start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid a Navy nurse. Interesting. 1917 is the year that they could enlist. Maybe 19 around that era. I just thought that was very cool. And I dropped my number. No worries. I got it. Goes to Heather. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Heather. Popular for women to dress in military style to remember their men and support them. Wow. I did not know that. There's so much I don't know. I don't know why I'm surprised when I don't know something. <laughs> All right. Up next. Yay. Up next we have, we only have three more items. That's it. Up next we have my one and only dragon of the evening and like I said I keep going back but I'm picky I don't like all the dragons but this one called to me he's gonna start at $25 again not vintage not antique 3d printed but oh my gosh they're so cool and I feel like they mix in with vintage really well so he's starting at $25 and he is amazing he is so much longer than mine here's my dragon Come here, Darwin. So here's my dragon, and here's the one that I'm offering. Can you see how much longer he is? His name is Frederick. I just named him just now. Excuse me, Darwin. But he is beautiful. So he's got a very subtle color shift. His goes from like this light purple green to a red like a light burnt orange 
to a purple. Like it's very subtle, very soft coloring on this one. He's not very dense in color. And then let's do the sound. They are very sturdy. You can, they're made to play with like, like just run around your hands and stuff, but they look really nice tucked in somewhere or hanging off of a shelf or hanging off just really anything. I think they're so fun. I'm trying not to overdo it. Like I said, I'm really picky, but this one's colors. And then here's the tip of his tail. They're just so cool. And I really feel like they have little personalities. And I love his coloring. I know it's very, sorry, sorry, Frederick, sorry. We're gonna start the countdown at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, a real dragon, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid in. You totally could. He'd be good to wear to like a renaissance festival. You know, you just go to a It's my dragon. But see how long he is? very long oh tilted is he has a real dragon and a real snake i want to meet his dragon where did he get a dragon pam avery thank you so much dear he is fun. I'm telling you guys though, if you don't have one, when you get it, they like, they just, they have personalities. Like, you start to feel emotions to them, which I don't know what that says, but it's true. You're welcome. Congratulations for becoming a new dragon mommy. It's really fun. I feel nerdy, but I don't care. I enjoy owning a dragon. All right. Up next, I have a straight claim. And I have a piece of Kathness. C-A-I-T-H-N-E-S-S. -S, and it is Katniss Miniature Melly Fiori Paperweights are entirely handmade and are composed of patterned colored glass rods fused together in a variety of designs. Actually, you know what? I'll just do this as an offer up. It's going to start at $12 and it's Kathness Glass PLC Scotland. It is a miniature Melly Fiori paperweight pin. So if you're someone who likes Melly Fiori paperweights, we have a mini one in the pin version and it was made in Scotland and they're made to replicate their um, full-size glass paperweights and unfortunately I just don't think the detail is gonna come across on camera but there are the little I mean it is just a miniature Milli Fiori pa glass paperweight and it is on a pin back and I'll read you what it says one more time Kathniss Miniature Melly Fiori Paperweights are entirely made by hand and are composed of patterned colored glass rods fused together in a variety of designs. So because they're handmade pieces, no one is going to be alike. And it is made of glass, which is so... Like, the details, there's little flakes of gold and red in there. It's just so pretty. And it comes in its original little box as well. But I see Robin in at 12. Thank you so very much, Robin. We're gonna start the countdown on this. It's just really fun. 
So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. What's wrong with Moose? Oh, I was on the beach during the solar eclipse. That was an experience. To see everybody on the beach staring up at the sun with their glasses on. <laughs> Just now, Collector at Heart, or during um, the solar eclipse? Robin Watson. Thank you so much, dear. For 17. Thank you, Robin. And we are on our last item of the night. Oh, how time flies when your withering cottage is haunted. <laughs> All right, this next piece is very random. Thank you, Robin. It's gonna start at $12. I just put some things together that I like, and I got this book actually yesterday. Um, I don't really know what it's about. I just fell in love with the cover. So starting at $12, we have Time of Roses by Miss L.T. Mead. And I love the colors and this, just the figural female on there with the tennis racket. And she's putting, I'm not really sure what her hands are doing, but Time of Roses. And what I did was I tied some antique ribbon around it. And I added on the side a very old artist paintbrush that's been used and it's got patinaed because it it's um I think this is a, like a Japanese paintbrush for Japanese watercolor and it's just worn and so pretty I loved it and then also on the little ribbon I added a vintage diary lock with a set of keys now inside the book I will tell you there are no illustrations um and then the spine though is beautiful let me show you the spine of the book so if you're someone who displays the spines, it's this lovely lady in a big old summer hat with some florals. But I really fell in love with the cover. And um, a lot of people are doing like book displays by color and blue books like this color blue and pink books are very hard to find if you are trying to like complete a rainbow but this one is in really nice condition and i just love that it says time of roses with this lovely illustration on the front i think this is just such a nice display piece in and of itself and you're getting the paintbrush and the little lock and keys but i see janice in at 18 thank you so much janice we're going to start the countdown on this little grouping of the paintbrush the book and the little lock and key at 15, 14, 13, oh, here's the back, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid it. Bid it. And thank you guys so much for coming back after my meltdown last week or the week before like you guys are amazing um i was embarrassed for a while and thank you for coming back it means a lot to me and spending time with me and my withering treasures <laughs> robin you got it you was on a roll girlfriend you got it thank you so very much Robin Watson for 23. You got it. I know the amount of outpour I got of comments and emails and calls 
with you guys being concerned, you have no idea what it meant to me. Like, so much. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. I honestly don't. I know I tell you that every week, but I dago mean it. That was fun. I can't wait for next week. I don't know what I'm going to bring. <gasps> tough choice. Tough choice. Um, but yes. Every everybody that purchased tonight is getting an antique photograph. And I can't wait to package all your items so pr pretty. I was worried you would pass up before making it to the house. I was too, honestly. I was, like when I went inside, I literally was sweating. I have no idea. And then, I didn't even tell you guys. So I went to the hospital, right? After the live, I went to the hospital and when I got there, I had a fever of 100, which isn't a very high fever, but it's a fever. Um, and they put me in the room, and they gave me two Tylenol, and they gave me IV fluids. And that was it. And um, <laughs> I said, well, what, do we know what's causing the fever? And the nurse said, it could be a lot of things. And I said, cool, thank you. So essentially, not that it matters or that I'm complaining, but I'm gonna get a very expensive hospital bill for two Tylenol and IV fluids. <laughs> but what can you do? What, what can you do, you know? You gotta laugh or you'll cry. <laughs> oh, Lisa, I'm sorry. I hope you're feeling better. Yep, they said, take two Tylenol and hit the road, Jack. I said, yes, ma'am, thank you very much. That's why I don't go to the doctor. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have gone. I knew that would have happened, but I, I went anyways. Oh, goodness gracious. Anyways, hoosies, housies. It's good to go. You feel like something is wrong. Yeah, that's what I worry about. And it's not for me, it's for my daughter. Like if something were to happen to me and it was all just because I didn't want to go to the hospital, I would like, I would not want her to live with that. You know what I mean? So eh. anyways, thank you guys so much. I know I try Laza, but thankfully today it went really well. Hopefully we'll get it figured out. I am, I keep trying to say goodbye, but you guys are like my friends. I want to keep talking to you. Um, unfortunately though, the doctor I saw today is leaning towards POTS, P-O-T-S, POTS, um, which I really hope I don't have. And she said she really hopes I don't have because POTS is a really angry disease with no cure or treatment. Um, but after doing a little bloop boop booping, POTS does seem to have the most similarities in symptoms. You have POTS? Isn't it so fun if that's what I have? Um, so I'm really hoping it's not POTS because that would be terrible. Um, because I would love for there to be a light at the end of the tunnel to my symptoms. Like a little bit of hope. And with POTS, uh, patients, you don't get that. So I really hope it's not POTS. But she seems to be leaning towards pots. So fingers crossed that it's not. Um, yes. If you could please. <laughs> no, that's a really big jump. Pay your invoices within 48 hours. It really helps me out. Um, because it really limits my trips to the postal service office. Postal service office? Um, yep. Postural. I don't. I'm not going to learn to say it yet until I know I have it. <laughs> I know, Debbie. Um, so if you could please, please, please pay your invoices within 48 hours. It just really helps me stay organized to have everybody pay at once and then send all the packages out at once. It really helps me have more time for shopping for you guys and um, for other things to do for my little business. So just please pay your invoices within 48 hours. I will be sending invoices tomorrow. Um, thank you for all your support and your kind comments. I'm sorry the hat haunted us for a little bit, but we talked it out and now we're good as you can see. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to Redheaded Kitty Cat. I really, really appreciate you, dear. 
you have no idea. And if you're not doing anything next Tuesday and you want to come hang out, I'll be here. Redheaded Kitty Cat will be here. It'll be a good time. You never know what I'm going to bring. That is for sure. And thank you guys so much once again for joining me at the Withering Cottage. Good night.